Yeah, right. Uh, so today we're making a pegboard for the hand tool cabinet, which was in the last video. Here you can see I made a story board um, with all the drill holes separated out in about 20 mil spacings. And you'd be happy to know you're not going to get to watch all of the drilling um, because there is a lot. So I do skip quite a bit like this. And if you watched the um, last video, uh, thank you very much because you've helped make it my most viewed video to date. And if you haven't seen it, I will put a link in the top corner. Every step of the way. So there here I am just about finishing all the drilling. Um, I bet you're glad you didn't have to watch all of those drills being done. I did make a little mistake, so I'm just getting rid of that error. And then obviously sanding it down to uh, 120 grit, I think it was I did in the end. Much as I've been with you, it's never And then I just put a couple of coats of a, um, a white non-drip gloss on. The back just got one coat, but the front got two coats. And you'll also see in the um, top of the frame there, there's four little square blocks. Uh, they would, they're just basically for um, spaces, so they've got a decent gap away from the back of the hand tool cabinet. And I am just gluing them into place in the four corners. And then after that, I secure it to the cabinet with screws. make sure it's level and you can probably see I've had to use a little bit extra light on the video just to make sure I can see the board and that the video can see the board all fun stuff really if you've enjoyed this video don't forget there's the hand cabinet video on the previous one and I will link them all down below So there's the pegboard in place and there's a couple of tools on there, there will be more to go on. Mm -hmm.